It's three in the morning. The room is silent. And just as you're about to fall asleep, your brain reminds you of something you wish never happened. A tiny moment, a harmless mistake. Yet somehow it crashes back into your mind with full force. Your heart tightens, your face burns, and somehow it feels worse now than it ever did back then. So why does your brain cling to embarrassment while letting everything else quietly fade away? This isn't weakness. It's how your brain is wired. And once you understand it, you can take that control. Let's break down what's really happening inside your brain. Why these moments feel so powerful years later and how you can finally turn the volume down. And as you watch, think about the one memory your mind won't let go of because I want you to share it in the comments with us. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to support your channel. Oh, hello there. Have you ever found yourself lying awake at three in the morning suddenly ambushed by a memory from 10 years ago? Perhaps you called your teacher mum by mistake or confidently waved back at someone who wasn't waving at you at all. It's a peculiar kind of torture, isn't it? The memory rushes back, crystal clear, making your cheeks burn as if it had only just happened. You might wonder why that tiny fleeting moment has such staying power, while you can barely remember what you had for breakfast yesterday. It feels as though your brain has a special filing cabinet just for your most cringe-worthy moments. This isn't just you being a bit silly, it's a universal human experience. It's like having a personal heckler living inside your head, armed with a projector and a library of your greatest fumbles. The memory can feel so intense, so real, that you physically flinch. The shame, the panic, the desperate wish for a time machine, it all comes flooding back. Why does one small slip-up get the full Hollywood blockbuster treatment in our minds, complete with surround sound and high-definition detail? Let's start with a simple truth. Our brains are not passive recorders of history. They are more like very selective curators of an art gallery, choosing which pieces to hang in the main hall and which to store in the dusty basement. The curator in this case uh, has a strong preference for drama. A calm, uneventful Tuesday afternoon is terribly boring and doesn't make for a compelling exhibit. But a moment filled with strong emotion? Oh, that's a masterpiece. It gets a prime spot, right under the brightest spotlight. The more intense the feeling, be it joy, fear, or that unique horror we call embarrassment, the more likely the brain is to say, right, this one's a keeper. So when you trip up the stairs at a party or spill a drink down a colleague's pristine white shirt, your brain doesn't just see a clumsy accident. It registers a massive emotional spike. It's a five alarm fire of social panic. That intense feeling is a signal, a big flashing neon sign telling your brain that this event is important. It's not that your brain enjoys watching you suffer, it's that it's designed to pay very close attention to things that provoke a powerful reaction. And a good, solid cringe is one of the most powerful reactions of all. It's a survival instinct, really, just applied to a slightly less life-threatening situation than being chased by a saber-toothed tiger. Now let's get a bit more technical, but don't worry, we'll keep it simple. Think of your brain as a very organized, if slightly overzealous, office manager. When an event happens, it needs to be filed away. Most everyday events are like plain manila folders. They get filed neatly, but are hard to find later. But when you feel a sudden sharp pang of embarrassment, your body releases a cocktail of stress chemicals, including adrenaline cortisol. These chemicals act like a fluorescent pink highlighter pen. They essentially scream at the brain's filing clerk, pay attention to this one. This chemical surge ensures the memory isn't just filed away, it's tagged as urgent and important. This process involves a few key players in your brain. The star of the show is a little almond-shaped part called the amygdala. The amygdala is your emotional watchdog. It's constantly on the lookout for anything that matters, and it has a particular knack for spotting threats. When you do something embarrassing, the amygdala fires up, then nudges the hippocampus to make sure we remember every single detail of this disaster. The reason embarrassing memories stay so painfully fresh is because we don't just leave them behind, we take them home with us, replaying them in our minds over and over. 
This mental replay is what psychologists call rehearsal. Each time you do this, you're not just remembering, you're strengthening the memory's neural pathways. You're telling your brain, this is important. With each viewing, the memory becomes more accessible and emotionally potent, turning a blip into an epic. In the rehearsal room of your mind, you've become the director of your own cringeworthy film festival. Our brains can be our own worst critics, replaying fumbles until they feel bright and burning. But you have more control than you think. The key isn't to erase the memory, but to soften its emotional soundtrack. Here's a simple trick. When a cringe memory pops up, talk to yourself as you would a dear friend. Say, that was awkward, but it's over. It doesn't define me. This stops the shame spiral. Over time, you're retraining your brain's response from self-attack to self-acceptance. Remember, that moment isn't the headline of your life. It's a footnote. Be kind to yourself and carry on.